The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, we finished the uh, full day trading today. Did four hours. We had seven trades in those four, actually eight trades in those four hours. We had uh, four winners, uh, two break evens, and uh, one loss. Uh, we had a little loss in gold, but we made that back. But uh, we started the day uh, uh, micro trading, of course, folks. We're using four minute chart just to show the patterns. But it was a, a beautiful day. There was the high that we made early in the morning. Uh, the market came down, and uh, you'll notice here that uh, we uh, went down. We made a we we actually sold that retracement right here. We came down and uh, we broke even on that. When we sold the 382 right there, the market came down. We put a stop in. We broke even. And then we had this absolutely fabulous, look at this beautiful three drive to the bottom, folks. Look at this beautiful burp bottom, A, B, C, D right there. Just absolute perfect three drive to a bottom pattern. And uh, that went up and made a really nice profit. We went up to the 78% level. We switched, went from uh, short to long, long to short. And now we've come down here. Uh, we also suggested possibly to add on the first 382 retracement, which was right here. That would tell us that we're most probably heading down to 4505 on this move here today. Uh, the one question that everyone seemed to be asking is because I spent so much time talking about the S&P yesterday on the daily charts. I want to bring this up and uh, see where we are here. You remember we were talking about this number right up here, this importance of this uh, 4524 number. Well, I based that, you know, I sold last night at 4520375 and I kept it all night. We got all the way down to 06 and then we rallied back. I got stopped out at the break even point and then we went short again when we got up to the 36 level here early this morning after the report. But there's a possibility that this could be the high. Look at this, folks. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, there's the 13th, okay? We're looking for it to come to the 14th. Maybe it happened on the morning today because you remember you have a two-day window. Day before, the day after, it could be off by one day. I went back and looked while we were on the air here, and I went back and looked. There was your last new moon right here. It was one day off. Okay, the next new moon here was two days off. The next new, new moon here was two days off. The next new moon here was two days off. The next new moon here was spot on. So there's a window there of a dollar, a point on either side. So maybe this is a big high. Frankly, don't know, don't care. We're interested in trading the darn thing, and it turned out to be okay. We just made our second profit here. Uh, at the number we're getting out is 45.13. We sold at uh, 33. Uh, oh, actually, we sold at 30, yeah, 33, and that, that will lock in $1,000. Overall, uh, we made uh, $1,600 on the seven trades. I'll do the other trades. The one that was really interesting, folks, that I totally messed up <laughs> was this one right here uh, in the crude oil. I want to get this, excuse me, the uh, – let's get this correct, Bubba. This is the Treasury bond market. Here is the report right here. Now, what we did was we sold this 382 retracement here at 06, okay? Now, that was the 382 retracement of the overnight high right there. Then the report came out. We got stopped. It totally collapsed. But look what happened after that, folks. It's a real textbook and a tribute to the people in the room because they started seeing it ahead of time. And, boy, if you think that doesn't make a teacher happy is when the – students start teaching <laughs> that's wonderful look at the high there's your high there's your first 382 retracement go to the next one there's your second 382 retracement right here go to the next one hello operator let's get to that one right here this was the next 382 was off of that one 
This went to the 50%, but only three ticks difference, made a very nice profit. And then we're coming up again, ready to make another one while we're on the air here. Can you believe that? You can't even make this stuff up. Okay, there's the early morning high. That's the one you want to take, because that's when the buying came in, thinking everything was going to go straight up. From your high down to your low, your 382 comes right here, folks. Watch this number really carefully. That's 4416. I had several trades of the day that I thought were going to be really good today. I wanted to bring one of them to your attention. It happens to be the bond here. We had Mr. Z on the show yesterday looking at this pattern right here. This is what we were expecting today for the market to get up here to 116. Uh, oh, 116.10. Uh, we never, we never made it. We didn't even take out. If you remember, Mr. Z was shorting here yesterday at uh, 23, uh, 115.23. The high had been 115.30, uh, and of course that ended up being pretty good. But look what's happened now. We've had a pretty good move down here. This is a big deal because this is a daily, folks. Look at this. This is Mother God and Country. H higher highs. You see that? That makes that a three drive to a top pattern. If it gets above here, more power to it. But by golly, that is the fact. It is a three drive to a top pattern. The $64 question is move this over a little bit, and you're going to see something real exciting. From the left over here, where your high is here, down to your low, where you are right here, takes you to, if we get there, there's that number we were looking at. 116.09. Now that's two handles from where we were at. But if we get there, if we get there, that's going to be a 61% retracement off of this high right back here. Okay, so I hope that uh, I hope that helps to see if uh, things are working okay here today. And then we're going to be moving on to see what's going on here right now. Okay, that's the Treasury bonds. Okay, now we'll move over to the crude oil, another really interesting pattern. This one got, this was at the end of the system here. Uh, oh my God, I gotta show you this one here we had in the, in the, in the meal, folks. This one's, this one's sickening, let's get this up here. The meal right here, do you see this number right here? That was the overnight high in meal, and we had an order setting at the first 382 retracement, which was right here. You'll see from that high right here, down to that high right here, is exactly 382. The problem is, it was on when the uh, I was on the air. I didn't get the order put in. I had the order set, hopefully setting it 474. Went to 475 and broke down to 465. And look at this first 382 retracement, second through two 382 retracement. Folks, pay attention to 382. It'll tell you what to do. We're going to take a break here now, I believe. We've got some interesting people coming up. No guests today. Uh, and tomorrow is, uh, let's see, Wednesday. You add one day astrologically. That makes tomorrow Thursday. Uh, Friday, we're supposed to have Mr. Dino Lapoli. Joey D should be our guest. But that's a coin toss. You never know. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN Education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, the next thing we want to do is take a look at the uh, trade that we did in uh, crude oil. This is still an active trade, but uh, you'll notice that uh, we were looking for the market to come here, which was a perfect guardly here at 76.80. Uh, we put an order to buy at 76.83. The low was 73.65. Folks, we only risked $20.00. On this uh, right now it's got a $400 profit and it's now the stop is at break even but stop and think this was a $77,000 contract and we were only risking $200 uh, that is about as best risk risk control as you possibly can however what we want to do here is take a look at what happened during this morning because what we were looking at this morning was we said to sell the first 382 and look at this, folks. We actually did this one. There was a move down. We know 382 here, but we put the 382 number in. Let's just clean it up so you can see it real clearly. We sell the first 382 retracement from the high, and there it was right here. There's your first 382 retracement right here. We sold it at 78.47. Went against us 30 bucks. Our stop was right above here, and look, look what happened on the way down. Just really good move. Now look. Here is something that we brought to everybody's attention. Do you notice here how you make a lower low? That changes the 382. People forget to do that, but as you go down and make that move from this high down to this low, you'll see the 382 would come in on the second one right here, and as you can see, it misses it considerably, but then it comes down and makes the final pattern right here on your guard. Look at the look at this number, folks. I mean, this thing is so close, it's unbelievable. Not always works that way, but that's it. But you had a really nice uh, A, B, C, D pattern in there. Uh, this is probably going to be the last of the uh, last of the live trading things for quite a while, folks. I won't be doing any for. I don't know, maybe never, but certainly not for the next eight or nine months, that's for sure. Just getting too busy here. You notice here, that's what we're looking at. We had a nice rally here, but so far you got to stop at break even and just wait and see uh, if, in fact, it works. That's the, the bottom line of what we're paying attention to, to here today. Okay, now let me see. I had to double-check something here. We've covered the bonds. I wanted to take a look at soybeans because – I thought uh, we didn't get a chance to today. Oh, we did. We did have a chance to look at a couple stocks. This is Tesla. 
Uh, look at this move here in Tesla. Uh, today, uh, we had a, a per perfect example here. You see this little, remember this is an eight-minute sell-off, all right? Okay, so that's all you have to deal with is this eight-minute sell-off. Well, the last low you had back here on uh, the other day uh, before the market took off, just check that one and you'll see that it came in almost, to, this is a $200 stock, folks. It's a 3A2 and then all the way, here's another 3A2, there's another 3A2. Now we're rolling over just a little bit, but it's still early in Tesla. As we look at this on the daily chart, you know, it's gone uh, to a perfect A, B, C, D here on the daily. Look at this. There's A. Let's just check this out there. Willie, see if it all gets it going right in here. There's your A, B, C, D leg right here. Let's measure the ratios. Remember, we got a big one from back here. Stuff's getting old for everybody. The same old stuff. The old cowboy ain't got nothing new because I only know what to do. And that's how to A, B, C, D. There's your high back in here. There's your retracement. Exactly 50% from that high. We take it from the previous high right here. There it is right there. There's your 61% retracement. So this was the zone. Should have trouble between 241, 246. It's 242 right now. A, B, C, D. You got three ratios there, folks. You got the A, B, C, D. You got the 50% and you got the 61% all lined up pretty much perfectly. I haven't checked this one here. So let's just check if that's probably, that might be even 50%. Oh, that's a perfect 61. So you've got two 61% retracements, a 50% retracements, and an A, B, C, D. That means that this stock is probably getting ready to correct a little bit. Now look at it just from simple time counts. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five days up, okay? Five days up. And this is, we have to consider this a bear market because we're going down. This is just a big rally into that. So I hope that, uh, hope you understand that that's what we're looking at here as we're paying attention here to this. We also looked at Apple. And as we get Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, and I hope he's acting pretty swell. I, as a poet, and don't know it. I makes it rhyme every time. Hold on just a minute. There was a lady from Wisconsin, and here is the Apple. This is on the eight minute. We did this for the folks today. This is just an eight minute chart today on Apple. Uh, the high today was supposed to be uh, 189. The high was 189.50. There's the ABCD, 189.53. The high was 189.50, within three points of that point. So that's 0 0.303 cents. It was supposed to be 189.50, but we were predicting 189.53, so we have to consider that a failure. That's not perfection, and we're looking at perfection. Had the same thing happen here, folks. This was the pre-market. And we went up. There was your low right here. We missed it again by about 20 cents. Then you pull back right down to your 50% retracement. And then, of course, you go up to this level right here. What this saying is, is that we're probably getting ready to sell off towards the end of the day. We've got about another hour and a half to do that. And then we're going to be able to see if we can do that. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And then we will keep a close eye uh, on these uh, markets today. We have a few stocks to look at when we come up from the break, but I'll do those. I want to finish the commodities first. Uh, got to get to the gold market. Very, very important here uh, in the gold market. Let's get the, just a second here, get the gold chart up. Okay. Okay, here's the gold market right here. Okay, this is, a, we bought gold here, folks. This was a nice win for us. We were buying it right in here. Uh, you had a 61% retracement off of this move right here. Darn it. Okay. We bought it a little early, but we still made money in it. You're also making a 50% retracement. So you had two numbers in here. Rallied up uh, to this level right here, which was pretty good. We locked in a profit, so it worked okay, but that's pretty good. Now, what to be watching for in gold here? You'll notice here, we'll just get rid of this out. Hold on a second. We'll micro down here and do a little bit of micro looking. 
Okay, there's it comes down to the 50% level and then rallies up. And this is a very important key. Yes, Johnny, I know what you're going to say. And the 382 came in right here at 67 and a half. The high was 68.3. Now this tells us if this is if this is an exact 382 retracement, what you're going to be looking at, folks. You're going to be looking at an A, B, C, D, and this is going to be the big daddy rabbit on the old gold. Let's stay with us here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. We'll be back in just a moment. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Dan at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to go through the gold and then I've got some stocks to run through that people have asked me to take a look at. I've got the charts, but uh, I don't really look at stocks very often. Uh, you'll notice here, this is the ABCD that we got. Now, we made a 382 retracement here right on the money. We went from 80 you know, down to uh, 58, so that's a 12, uh, $22 move. Uh-oh, we got someone in the house. Hold on just a second. The old doorbell rang. Well, why did the doorbell ring? 
shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second. I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm in the wrong area. Let's see what we have. And broadsword to come in. Is uh, the chart not posted? Is that the problem? Uh-oh. I thought that it was, but what do I know? Hmm. I heard the doorbell ring. What was the story? Oh, what was the story on that? Whew, I'm a little bit tired, folks, from doing that four hours. So hold on one second. Plus, I traded half the night. I tried to, but didn't get anything filled. Anyway, let's uh, move on. I think it's posted. Let me double check. I'm going to... I'm just going to repost it, so bear with me here, folks. Get this up here. I'm going to repost this, and that way I'll know for sure where we are. Well, I'm never knowing for sure. Okay, there is. We should be live now. Here is the gold market. The gold market had a high here. We're going to go through this all together. This is just 15, 13 minute chart. We're looking for a product pattern here, 1948. Okay, that's what we think. Now we're here. We get above here, it still looks bullish. Let's look at this on the longer term for our chart, okay? This is this is what I think is pretty important, okay? Here's where we were. There was the overnight. This was the low we were looking for to come in. Let's just remember that big low at 44. That's what we were looking for. We were looking for it to come in at this level right here. Okay, so it came in at 36. We we're trying to buy at 44. I bought that day, I got stopped out, and I I didn't get in it, I missed it. But, two things to watch on this. The high that we made right back here, and that low right there comes exactly at the 50% retracement. Now, if we can get this above here, it's gonna go. But ideally, what you'd like to see is this. You'd like to see it get to this level right here. Remember that level we're looking at around 49 to 50? That's what you wanna be looking at. Now, yesterday, we got what we call, <laughs> we got blessed, folks. This total luck. Well, luck is where preparation meets opportunity, but I want to show you why I switched to silver. Let me get this up here. I did this in the newsletter. I did this in the video on Sunday night, and I told everybody that's what I was doing. There wasn't any mystery, but this was the daily chart in the silver, okay? Here is the silver right here. Uh, that is crude oil. Why am I looking at this? <laughs> See, crude oil starts with a C and silver starts with a S. This is where we were. Okay, here's where we were. All right, wow, I still can't believe this. There was our 61% retracement here at 22, and we bought that. And the market, I'll go through the whole process because you folks that were in me uh, followed it. This is what we did. There's where we bought it, right down here. And we got to this level here. Uh, that's not the right way. This is, move it this way, over here. Yeah, that's what we had. This is where we were. Hold on just a minute. Oh, this chart, I don't, I mean, this is where we bought the silver at uh, 20. Let's put the daily up because I bought it at 22.17. I don't understand why the uh, this is looking so different. I bought it there at 21, uh, 22.17 right here. It's where I bought it. I bought it here, I sold it here, and bought it back right there. But that's not that's not showing the 190. Let me get this back here because, uh, yeah, there's the there's the buy. Hold on just a second here. Okay, there's the first buy right here at 2200, but it doesn't show. It doesn't show the the pullback that we had. There's the there's the number right there. It's still sitting there. This chart's totally screwed up, folks. I apologize. You see that? Look, let me show you why. You see this number here? That's the low that was right here. We sold that and then we bought it back right there. But that's not showing on the intraday chart. But watch on the daily chart. There it is on the daily chart right there. Twenty two. Uh, 16, 15 was low. We bought 22.17. <clears throat> I've got a data problem. Son of a gun. Not good. Now we've gone up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Time out. <clears throat> Go up and we match the high from here. So what we want to see is a pullback in silver. So looking at this is uh, what there's all we had so far today was. <laughs> You call this a pullback? Are you kidding me? Let's see if it's a 382 off of this. 
No, it's not even a 382 for that. We wouldn't want to see a 382 on silver, but given the fact that gold is where it is and gold is my trading object, most of the time I would be happier than a pig running through the the night and to buy this one down here. We'd like to see it buy right here at around 1952. I have to be a buyer there. And uh, I, I trade gold almost every day. I almost sold it today here. You'll see we had that 50% retracement of that move right there. I said that looks like a, a pretty good spot. To, that's 50% off of that high we made way back here when we made the 78% level. So this thing is still in a downtrend. You can see the lower tops. See the lower tops in here? These are still still in a downtrend. We want to be being a buyer, though. That would be the ideal thing. That we want to be doing is uh, as we as we look at some of these things uh, going through uh, each day here. We've got one other one that I want to look at. Um, that is the uh, uh, soybeans. Hold on one second, uh, soybeans, and then we will do some of these stocks when we come back here for the next break. Here's our January beans. They should be heading down today. Ah, uh, got a little bit higher than. Oh, let's see how much higher. We went to the 786 retracement here, and uh, we sold meals, what we sold today, so that was the easier one to see because it's a perfect 382 in the meal. Yeah, there's our 78% level came in at 84. High market went up quite a bit higher. It went up to uh, went up to 90. What did it get, get to 90? Uh, it went to it went to uh, 94 uh, 94 up in here, so it went quite a bit. Below that, so if we go down to the uh, hourly chart, well, there it is, uh, the big move right up here. We wanted it to get a little bit higher because that would have made the ABCD to that move. And we didn't have a good ABCD anywhere in here. So we missed the, that, but we did make the move in the soybean meal because soybean meal was absolutely perfect. Let's get this up. Uh, just couldn't make, it, couldn't make it up if you wanted to. Just do the four-hour chart. Uh, there's the high right up in here. What we did is we went down to the smaller time frame. There was our 382 right here. This was the this was the opening, right here. There was your high right here. There was your low, was 318 right here. Boom, 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 boom. My gosh, it sounds like a drummer from the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Okay, now let's move up here to the next one here. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I uh, uh, have a request to take a look at BlackRock. Here's what it's done here. Uh, over the past year from October to October. We've got some nice ABCD patterns in here. But the first thing on the request I would do would be to go down to the look at the weekly chart because this has been a very bullish chart. Remember, it got to 1,000, and then we came down to this level right here on the weekly. That was just shy of the 78% level. But there was something very important at that bottom, folks. I don't trade stocks, but this is the this is what we really teach. You notice you have drive one right here, and then you have drive two, and then you have drive three. So if you look at this, we're going to blow it up so everybody can see it easily. Get rid of anything out there that might be confusing, but there is your pattern right here that you're looking. There's your, there's your uh, A, B, C, and D. That's right down here. So let's just take a quick look at that right here. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your CD leg coming in right here. That, my friends, is a – hold on one second. We'll get this up here. Hold on. Something is happening. That My alert's going nuts. I'll take care of that in a moment, but I want to draw in this A, B, C, D. There's the drive one, drive two, and – whoops. Come on. Get it down here. Why well, won't it get down there? This won't <laughs> – it won't allow me to – ah, shucks. That's drawn in wrong. What's going on, folks, is crude oil just went below the 61% retracement. Hold on a second here. There it is right there. There's a three drive to a bottom pattern. Give me two seconds here to correct this crude oil thing, please. And you'll see here that we just broke down below that. That means uh, first profit objective was right there. Now we're breaking down below the coveted. Let's put that up so everybody can see it. We're breaking below, move it over, Larry. They're breaking below the 61% retracement. And that's why you use stops, and that's why you use money management. You see, there's where it is. It's going below. Now, let's just, I got to, uh, I've got to turn this off just a second. See, these beepers are going nuts on me. Okay. Anyway, that's what we're watching here with this, uh, with crude oil. You see, we've come down. Uh, below the 61% retracement of this move right here. I think that, yeah, you see that? There's where it was, had to rally. That's why we, of course, the first profit objective right here was 600. Break even was your next one, and now you're coming down. That's what we tried to teach today in the show about the money management. Okay, let's get back to BlackRock. Had a request in that. I certainly want to try to fulfill that request. Okay, let's get this up here see where we are now this is the weekly chart of BlackRock okay and this is what it does what we're going to do now is we're going to blow this up because this will give you an idea of what's what it's done during the 2023 level okay let me change this to reset default so that it can see it pretty nicely that's what I want to see there's what I want to see right here here's where we are there was the three drive pattern on the weekly okay now here's where we are in the weekly look at this big move we've had from right here folks now I know 
You don't always believe me, but by golly, you got to pay attention to this pattern right here. There's your A leg. There's your B leg right here. Right There's your C leg. There's your D leg. Look at this, folks. It measures to 59, 591.51. The low was, <laughs> are you ready? 498. It misses this by $7 is all it misses it by. Now, let's check to see what the 61% retracement was because mathematics precedes geometry and the 618 came in at 609 it went a little bit below it on this day look at the reversal week that we had here back in uh, on October the uh, the 27th okay looking at this on the daily you're going to be able to see that reversal quite easily there it is right there on the 27th there's the move up and you can see here we're we're still going higher now, where we are today from this high down to this low, we're already above the 61% retracement. So tell this has got a bullish bias. Look at the way this thing came out of here, though. Boy, this is a uh, – look at this. This is one, two, three-day pullback, and it, it doesn't even correct, doesn't even get into the gap. And then, of course, we gapped above it yesterday with the other news announcement that's out there. So these markets, you have to respect them, folks, and make sure you put your stops in because if you don't, you're telling Mother Market that you know more than she does, and we all know how that turns out, don't we? Okay, now we have to take a look at the other one that's interesting to everybody, and that is Microsoft. Here it is right here, heading to the moon, baby, headed to the moon. This one has made new highs. You talk about strength. This has strength. Now, here's where we were on the uh, eclipse day right here you see that so that was a day right here and from that level it exploded to the upside and made new highs one of the few stocks that, that were able to do that but there are a few others but they did make it so that's a big one right here where is the outlook on microsoft well we've completed all these objectives here we have no pullbacks back in here to pay attention to the only thing we can do is go down to an hourly chart to see if there's some type of pattern, I don't see much in here. I don't see a three drive pattern that's any symmetry at all. So I I would think that if you're going to buy something for buy strength, I would certainly, you know, look at Microsoft because it was one of the few stocks able to to make a new high. Look at this. Not many many people thought it could do it, but it took out the highs from uh, July the 18th of last year. That's that's very very difficult to do. But you had so much improvement enthusiasm for that report that came out that that's the that's the big difference in what we're uh, paying attention to here okay so anyway that's what we're we're looking at here so far today I, I hope that helps I wanted to uh, cover one other uh, stock that somebody's interested in and that get it down here one more it starts with an M M where are you M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M M because this has been, ah, uh, finally had a rally. Let's get up here and take a look at this. All right. Okay, here, remember, this is a com company that gave us the $400 price objective on Tesla when it was $260 uh, a, bear, went, uh, a, can a stock uh, per share in, in Tesla. Price objective, $440. And, of course, uh, this came down considerably more after that. But this is the stock of Morgan Stanley. Uh, we're going to look at this on a little bit longer time frame. It doesn't look too bad looking at the weekly. So let's get the weekly up here. There's the weekly. We just made a 50% retracement here on the weekly. That came in right on the uh, time of the uh, the solar eclipse, uh, so, lunar eclipse that we had on the 27th. That was the low. Now we've had this big rally up. So it's it's hanging together pretty good there. So. Uh, these are some of the things that we're paying attention to, folks. So that's all we're doing is paying attention. Okay, so that's what we're looking at right here. And I have time for one more. It's going to have to be quick. That's, I believe, Pelotron. This one's gotten hit really bad, folks. Uh, not many people doing exercise anymore, but holy cow, is that true? That stock used to be that high? Are you joking me? Whoa. Shut the front door, 180 to $4, $5? My God, somewhere in here, there had to be some type of a, a scary move. Now, this is a weekly. Let's just shovel. Oh, there's your first 382 right there. 
Son of a gun. Let's take a break. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're taking a look at Peloton. Uh, this stock used to be $180 a share. Now it's down to five. We've made this... Uh, final move down here remember folks stocks that go below five dollars very seldom make it very very strong but let's take a look at this and go back here and look at this weekly for just a minute because there's got to be a spot here where you got to say uncle okay now this is it right here now this is the weekly chart there's our high in july of last year we come down we rally for one two three four weeks exactly to the hundred dollar level folks a hundred dollars. Now remember, the high was one seventy-five. Now we're back to half of what it was. It took one, two, three, a whole month to rally right there, and it was a three eight two off of the July high to the tick. The high was ninety-nine thirty-six. Supposed to be ninety-nine fifty-four. So that's right on. And then look what happened. Earnings or something came out uh, the following week, and the market went from uh, dropped in half. Another read. Look, then it goes below the 1.618. Folks, when it goes below the 1.618, it's lights out. So you've got to put your stop in there somewhere. Otherwise, you're a dead duck. I sympathize somebody that still owns it, but this stock's going nowhere. 
you know, I don't see it. I mean, it's at five dollars below five. You know, you can say goodbye because from 185 to five it means the stock's not alive. If I was a poet and don't know it, I makes it rhyme every time. I'd like for you to join me tomorrow, folks. 877-927-6648. This is Billy Ray Valentine signing out for TFNN. And what we're going to do here is have a great show tomorrow. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun. Friday, we hope to have Joe DiNapoli on. Next week, we got Bart DeLeone coming on, Stan Harley, and maybe Bill Meridian. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you.